I shared with you how to apply for DB 2024, but I realized many of you are struggling with cropping your photo to the specification. 600 by 600 pixels. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. My name is Rista Kuma. I'm a registered nurse. I live in USA. I've been an avant player of DB Lottery. Do I never won? I said that in my previous video, I applied five times in five years consecutively between 2010 to 2015 and i didn't get it anyway and i was always going to a vendor to apply i think it was just twice somebody applied for me and i was going to a vendor to apply and i never got it but now i've done application for a few people and i realized it is a real struggle to get a photo to to fit the size that you want so this video is a quick one to show you how to get the photo or the picture to be the specification so that it will not be rejected if your picture doesn't meet the requirement you cannot click the next button to continue filling your form and many are stuck over there many ask what about my children do they need a photo yes they do need a photo and it has to meet the 600 by 600 pixel or 1200 by 1200 pixel that has been stipulated but luckily there's a tool an editing tool on the dv page that you can upload your photo there and see if it meets the specifications if not you can use your laptop and i use microsoft to edit mine. So let's walk through that together. Who am I? I said again, my name is Mr. Kuma. So watch this video to the end, share with others. I wish you all the best in your DV Lottery 2024 application. And if this one doesn't work, keep applying every year. You never know when you'll be a lucky winner. And the results, as I said, will be out May 2023. That's when you find out and the process begins. Keep that code very well. Keep that email. Keep checking your email. Make sure that when you send you something important, you would get access to it. So let's watch how to crop our picture in this mode. Are you a registered general nurse, psychiatric nurse or midwife looking to work in USA and do not know where to start from? USRN, United State Registered Nurse, Pathway Consult, UPC, is here to simplify the cumbersome USA process for you. What we do at UPC, Phase 1. Credential Evaluation Using CGFNS or EREs. Documents you need. A valid passport. A nursing license or an active PIN. Secondary School Certificate. Phase 2. USA State Board of Nursing Registration. Phase 3. USA Nursing Messenger, NCLEX Preparation. Phase 4. Write NCLEX and pass. Connect you to American-based nursing recruiters for your immigration and onboarding program. Our contact information. Find us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram as USRN Pathway Consult. Email us at usrnpathwayconsult at gmail.com. Call plus 233508931070. Ghana. WhatsApp plus 1585406492. USA Office Line. So let's watch how to crop our photo. You want to go into Google and type DV2024. And then you want to select the top one that has a state.gov that is the one you want you want to click on db2024 instructions you want to scroll down and read the details of the instruction click on that hyperlink and it brings you to the instructions for db2024 scroll all the way down and see what they say about the photo Frequently asked questions. Sample of acceptable photos here. Click on that and it opens up the travel.state.gov website. You see different photos, the correct background, lightning, and everything. You want to click on the photo tool on the right side. These are the correct photos, size and position. Pose and expression. Glasses is no longer allowed. See the X sign? You 
can't use glasses this time around. They used to accept it, but they took it off. Attire, hat, and hair. Background. Shadow and lightning. Background. White background, no flower. Resolution, no filter. The children, no toys. Face obstructions, no coverings. Hair blocking your face, no. So now I'm going to go to my desktop and look for my photo. And you want to look for paint. Paint is what we're going to use to edit the photo. So paint, P-A-I-N-T. And this is what will open up for you. Let me just maximize here. You want to click on open. Then you want to find a photo we want to crop. Yours might be on your desktop or whatever. Just label it nicely so you can find it. I pick mine. I open it. And this is the photo I want to edit. Shout out to my brother, Eric. I want to edit his photo. So I had done that already, so ignore this. So let's pick one that needs editing. So there we go. Your photo has been rejected for the following reason. The compression ratio is less than 20.1. Use a compression ratio that is less than 20 is to 1. So we exile, we go back to our paint, and then we click on resize. You want to choose pixel, click in that box, and click and check that box as well. Then type in manually the size that you want. In this case, we want 600. For the width, vertical, and horizontal, we want 600. Then you click OK. The size has changed. Don't add any filter, no color, nothing. Then you want to save as whatever you want to save it as so that you can identify it easily. So let me just add two to mine. Then save. Then now you come back to the photo tool and pick the photo you just edited and open it. It says your photo does not need cropping. Photo dimension 600 by 600. So our photo is good to go. So now we have to go to the DV website and try uploading it where the photo is required. For the purpose of this video, I will not fill the entire form. I will just jump straight to where we can upload photo. As soon as you upload it and the size is not right, you get a red pop-up. You get a red message at the bottom that tells you your photo size is not good. So let's just enter this real quick and upload our photo. Submit. So as I said, I'll skip all that and jump to the photo side. Choose new photo. Click that. Go and choose the edited photo and open that and upload. If it was not the right size, you see a red message under the photo that this photo is not acceptable. It does not meet the specifications. Yes. So hope this has been helpful. Watch, subscribe, and share with other people. Thank you. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye. All the best in your DV lottery results.